Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra has come to an end after 135 days and 4,000 kilometers. It began with the bright sunshine of Tamil Nadu's Kanyakumari and it came to an end in the snowy valleys of Kashmir. The Yatra was a grand political exercise to rebrand Rahul Gandhi and revive the Congress cadre. And a big part of that exercise was social media. The BJP has always beaten the Congress in the online battle. But during this Yatra, the party did harness social media very well. For example, all the interviews that Rahul Gandhi did were not to mainstream channels. He just spoke to YouTube stars. They made Rahul Gandhi go viral. And for a change, it wasn't for a goof up. Let's take a look at some of the iconic moments from the Bharat Jodo Yatra as it ends today. <laughs> और कश्मीर में मरा तिरंगा है उसको हम वहाँ जाकर लहराएं। Emotions, expectations and energy. All three were high when Rahul Gandhi began his ambitious Bharat Jodo Yatra. The date was September 7th, the location Kanyakumari. Rahul's ally and cheerleader MK Stalin handed him the tricolor and with that began a journey that was both political and physically taxing. Over the next 134 days, Rahul and his Yatris would cover 3,500 kilometers, 75 districts and 14 states. As the Yatra comes to an end in Kashmir, we take a look back at the most iconic moments. Number one, Rahul's a viral speech in the rain. As far as the photo ops go, nothing beats this one in Mysuru. The rain pelting down, the spotlights flaring and Rahul Gandhi in the middle of it all. Time will forget the content of that speech, but this picture will probably live on. Moment number two, the cultural outreach. Rahul Gandhi made it a point to explore the cultural nuances of the places he visited. Whether it was the snake boat ride in Kerala, or the village cooking channel in Tamil Nadu. Yes, memes were made, but so were memories. Number three, the family moment. Sonia Gandhi joined the Yatra in Karnataka's Mandya. Rahul was seen crouching down and tying her shoelaces after a long day of walking. His sister Priyanka Gandhi too joined the march later on. Their sibling love was on full display whenever they met. All of this was an extension of Rahul's reasoning behind the Yatra. He wanted to spread love, he said. This country is a country of love, a country of love, a respect. And that's why the Yatra is successful. As the Yatra moved north, Rahul's stubble grew in stature. He opted for the unshaven, long-bearded look. While Congress supporters saw a man on a mission, BJP's Himinta Biswa Sarma saw Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. The moniker didn't stick. The Congress spun a new narrative where Rahul's beard was a symbol of his tapasya, his trial by fire. That soon became a running theme of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So much so that at one point Rahul claimed he had killed himself. Perhaps a bit too dramatic, but then again, that was the whole point of this yatra to rebrand Rahul Gandhi as a man of the masses, as a strong willed and capable leader. Enter the white T-shirt. Rahul Gandhi wore this same T-shirt throughout the Yatra. White, half-sleeved and simple. But surely he would wear a sweater in Delhi, or at least that's what we thought. Rahul paid tributes to former Prime Ministers when he was in Delhi. He braved the cold wave in that humble white T-shirt. Once again, the tapasya card was on full display. I T-shirt. कापना शुरू हो जाएगा जब मुझे अच्छी मतलब ठंड लगने लगेगी जबरदस्त कठिनाई होगी तो फिर मैं स्वेटर पहनने का सोचूंगा द स्वेटर डिड मेक एन अपीयरेंस इन कश्मीर बट बाय देन द पीआर वर्क वाज डन राहुल्स कोल्ड बीटिंग क्रेडेंशियल्स वर बियॉन्ड डाउट 
The Bharat Jodo Yatra was a physical and political experiment. It had emotions, it had photo ops, it had the energy and it had some fun moments. But will the Yatra give Congress that much needed electoral success? Only time will tell.